JB again. What it is, is I've had a few messages on my JB UK profile, <coughs> and they mainly have people asking when they've got an acapella into Logic, how do they figure out the tempo of it, and also I'm getting a lot saying when I've got an acapella, how do I change the speed of it. So say it was 150 BPM, the acapella, and you know this. You want to change that to 160, say. There's no real way to do that in Logic. There is the time stretch feature, which is just to grab a length of audio, but, and then um, I think it's Alt that you hold, yeah? And then you can stretch that to any time, but that's meant more for drums. It's not very accurate in, in the fact that you don't have the track's BPM displayed and you don't know what it ends up at. <clears throat> so the best way to do that is to do this technique to find out what the BPM is first and then get the free program Audacity, which is down here. Um, you just put your acapella in that, knowing the BPM, and then there's um, an edit function, edit tempo, and it's really good actually, it's quite clear and stuff, so you just edit the tempo and it doesn't do much with the pitch, so that's the best way to do it and then export it back into Logic. Anyway, the best way to find <coughs> um, the tempo of an acapella would be Get your acapella on an audio track, so we've got that there. I've chosen um, Pretty Green Eyes by Ultra Beat. Pretty green eyes, so full of sparkle and such light. And yep, so I'm pretty sure you're familiar with that. Um, then what you want to do is, I don't know why it says EVP88, um, just because you haven't changed the track header or whatever, but this is actually an Ultra Beat track. So I've got that nice little kick on it. All that I'd recommend is that you have a percussive sound like a drum, not a, a tone. And then you want to go to the plugins on this track, inserts, <clears throat> and go on metering where there's a BPM counter. So just leave that up there and then click record. As you notice, right, when you click record then, there's a click. So all you need to do is turn it off after you click record. And then just play along to your Pretty music. green eyes So full of sparkle and such so light And let me remind She chose not to cry But it's alright For your lover has come home By your side I'll always stay <clears throat> So now we know Let me remind about 139, round it to the nearest 10, I'd say 140, there you go, it's 140. So all I'm going to do is press T, which brings up the tempo and change that to 140. Bear in mind that your MIDI patch, your MIDI part that you've just done will get faster relevant to the tempo that you've changed, so just delete that. So now you should have something alright. <coughs> It's, it's relatively in time, we know that because of this, so we'll close that. But as we can see, the sample doesn't actually start at the right part. So what you can do with that is, you see this little wavetable thing, this is just makes it bigger and smaller, makes the waveform easier to see. So now I can see where it starts pretty much. Just listen to it. Pretty green eyes. Where do we want the click to start? Pretty green eyes. Pretty green eyes. So full of sparkle and pretty green eyes. So full pretty green eyes. So why do we want this? Pretty green. Pretty. So we're almost there. You, you know that the tempo is right, so then it's just about dragging the start point to the right position. Pretty. You can use control if you want a finer um, move kind of thing. Pretty green eyes. Pretty green eyes. So full of sparkle and such light. And let me remind. So. Just record some stuff in to show you. Turn the clip back on. <clears throat> now I 
can quantize that because I've actually got it. There we go. So for the sparkle and such light And let me remind She chose not to cry But it's up So yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's not exactly in time, but that's because of the start point, not the tempo. So once you've done use that technique to figure out the tempo, it's just about finding the right start point. I mean, you can, you can get a good tempo in like, a good um, a cappella beat kind of thing set up in like, five minutes with that when you're just throwing ideas together then obviously I'd replace all the drums and <clears throat> probably attenuate within little percentages because people have a habit of not just putting it on 140 the tempo maybe they put it 140 0.1 or something just to piss DJs off so um, yeah that's the easiest way to find the tempo once you know the tempo you can change the tempo by using audacity so there you go um, but well, I take this opportunity to mention my uh, new dubstep act. Me and my um, friend have actually been working together, creating some new songs. We've just done um, an Ellie Goulding remix, actually. That's getting quite a good response. So, yeah, check that out. I've, I've uploaded it to the JB UK profile, but we've also got um, like a standalone profile for the act. It's called um, Mecha Blossom Dubstep. So, it's youtube.com forward slash Mecha Blossom UK. And that's how you're going to get on it. Um, there's a couple of links in some of my videos to it, but yeah, check it out and let me know what you think and obviously if there's any sounds in that stuff, which is going to be more advanced than what's on the JB UK because that was months ago, but if there's any sounds in that stuff that you like and you want to know how to make, just send me a message on here, I'd be happy to do it, but yeah, check us out um, thanks a lot.